So guys, Amir Khan versus Billy the Kid Dib. Stopped in four rounds and Amir Khan was in control for the whole of the fight. Now I have a lot of critiques about Amir Khan, but he got the job done. Ultimately, the hand speed's still there. The timing is off, the footwork isn't great, he's not fast on his feet as he was, but perhaps that's just because he was fighting a smaller opponent and he wanted to hold his feet and trade a little bit because once he felt the power of Billy Dib, he knew he couldn't get hurt, so he was just happy to hold his feet and trade with him. I mean, we can't take much from this, it was a bit of a gimme fight. And let's be real, the Huey Fury versus Samuel Peter fight was atrocious. I mean, it was on free to air, so it's free on Channel 5, but I mean, I still want my money back after that. All in all, it was a gimme fight between Amir Khan and Billy Dib. Bit of the same between Huey Fury and Samuel Peter. Samuel Peter was a good fighter in his day, but his day has long gone. So against Huey Fury, he was just looking for low blows, probably looking just to get disqualified in the later rounds anyway, once he knew he wasn't getting anywhere. And let's be real, Huey Fury wasn't doing much to make the fight flow. To be honest, I think a lot of what happened in there could have been resolved if Huey Fury just threw straight shots. It would have stopped a lot of the holding that went on. So Huey Fury, Samuel Peter, bit of a gimme fight, ended bad, wasn't entertaining. And Amir Khan versus Billy Dib, you are always going to get entertainment from Amir Khan, no matter who he is fighting, because he has the power and speed to knock someone out, and he is vulnerable enough to be knocked out himself. Again, Amir Khan is just getting back to winning ways. It was in Saudi Arabia, they seem to like it. Maybe he's going to make that his home now and fight from there. He said he would like to fight Manny Pacquiao next there, which is admirable because Manny Pacquiao is still a force to be reckoned with. And we don't know how much Amir Khan really has left. And we can't take anything from that performance because he was in there with a featherweight, let's be real. So Amir Khan has got back to winning ways and that is all he wanted from this fight. He didn't really care who he was going in with, he just wanted to get back to winning ways after the Terence Crawford defeat and especially the manner of the defeat also. So all in all, it was good for Amir Khan but it wasn't a great night of boxing really. But then again, it was free to air. So guys, what are your thoughts on Amir Khan's fight with Billy Dibb? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.